Man, it's Tales from the Crib, episode 15, coming live from your mother's house with your boy, Jesse J, with the Hawaiian shirt, and with this guy, Mr. Cherry Blossom himself. That's it, don't try me like that, don't disrespect And your, your main host, your star host, Gavin, a.k.a. Chico Grande, a.k.a. Papa Oblock, a.k.a. your mother's favorite son, non-son, a.k.a. I love the Twisted Tees. Speaking of Twisted Tees, you know, this episode... I got all crazy with it. I drank all my twisted teas by mistake, but you know. You got a little excited too early. You know it did. It's all right. Next episode. I wanted a gradual decline on the music, sir. You just hit it hardcore. That's what she said. (laughs) (laughs) That was a good one. I'll give you due on that one. But like I was saying, man, it's Tales from the Crib. You know, coming live from your mother's house. Episode one. 15 15 baby we I can't believe here. it we're, we're here we're still alive We're here we're here <laughs> Like your famous episode <laughs> what five intro You know it's not better than me singing You know but you know I, I wanted another singing intro That's why I've been playing the music at the beginning I've been ready for it You did get in one You gotta pay for this baby You gotta pay for this <laughs> no I mean, that's, that's, that's actually gonna be related To one of our topics Someone wants to get paid Way more than they think they deserve for a feature, just like this man. Uh, whatever, man. Whatever. But like, man, you gonna uh, get on the uh, get on the show? Of course. You know, first off, you know, I want y'all to follow us on Twitter. Mine is Felix Supreme three hundred five, and this is at Papa Oblock. It also says Chico Grande, which was my original Twitter that Kevin Durant hated on. <laughs> you can read the story on Twitter. It's in my bio. <laughs> Also, man, you know, we got new logo, you know, holla at us. You know, we working out here. But like I was saying, you know, you follow us on IG. Oh, follow us on IG. Yeah, scan it. Pause the video. Scan it. Get us, uh, get our followers up. We're actually doing pretty good on Instagram. You know, we doing good. You know, we can always Not like uh, YouTube. We can always do good. You know, we can always do better. But we, you know, it's good. We're getting hella views on YouTube, but we need more subscribers. We have like 70% of our viewers are non- not subscribed. So, you know, please, 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 you know, click subscribe. <laughs> click it. Click it. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go click it. But uh, Do it with your hand. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't, that, didn't, that didn't even sound right. I'm sorry about that one. Also, you know, you can get us on Twitch. What's our Twitch? Tales from the Crib? Tales from the Crib. Made it easy. Made it simple. You know, you know, you know, we out here making boss moves, doing big things in these streets. But you know, what a, we're wearing cherry blossom t-shirts. We're living life. That's when you know, you know, cherry blossom t-shirts. That's when you know. You that's get when you're money. in that zen mode. You know, pretty soon the shorts finna get shorter. You know, that's when you really get money. When the shorts get shorter, you showing them kneecaps, <laughs> showing a little thigh meat. You got your thigh meat. Shout out Twisted T in our exclusive holographic can. Awesome, you bro. can only get that at Tales from the Crib. You only can get it if you grab it, if Gavin's grabbing it. Because if I grab it, it's the same color. I said it's exclusive to us for to our, our show. No one else has this. To you. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> what you what you been doing this week, Gavin? You know, I got on the courts. I got on the courts. I was uh, working on my shot. Tales from the Crib, we're getting in shape. We're hitting the gym at least two, three times a week. And now we're going to add basketball to the regiment and uh, i wanted to get a head start on my co-host because we're thinking about getting some one-on-ones on film of uh, us playing basketball and uh i'm gonna dominate so i wanted to get some shots up early so uh you know i could just make sure i do what i do you know we're gonna get this little 1v1 on i'm finna be i'm finna be gavin ass no and then i'm gonna turn around and beat his dad nope get this get this bet pop i'm gonna and beat you and, and then I'm going to try to beat your brother, but I might have a heart stroke. I'm not that in shape yet. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to chase him around. I'll, I'll just have to flagrant foul him, but then I'll feel bad. Just like the time you flagrant fouled me and broke my arm. No, that's yeah. uh, that's what had, happens when you uh, do a big boy move on a little boy defender. And you broke my Apple Watch. Hey, and that's, he what, that's what Apple cares for. But you know what Apple Care isn't for? These people backs. Because people are going crazy. <laughs> Oh doing, my god, the milk crate challenge. The milk crate challenge. You heard about I this? couldn't believe it. Like we saw this and it was like on some like uh you know, hood Instagram, I don't know what you want to call it. Hood Instagram. Block, block Instagram, hood Instagram. And uh we were like, Man, this is dumb. No one should do this. This is like you're gonna break your back. And then we noticed everyone and their mother was doing it, even 
the grandparents, the great grandparents, they're all trying to you know win the uh, stack. It seems like people are betting on it. I know somewhere there's a grocery store looking for all their crates, and they can't find them. Somebody's getting fired. Oh my god! <laughs> National milk crate sto- <laughs> shortage. First, yeah. first it was the toilet paper, and now it's the milk crates. What's next, people? The body wash. What are you going after? It's going crazy. You got toilet paper. We got the milk crates. We got chicken. Oh, I heard a. Uh, I wanted to ask you something real quick. Um, people were saying that loofahs are disgusting. Do you think that it's a washcloth is the way to go or loofah? We, Do you know what that is? A loofah, that little heart thing. It's like a little, it's like a little sponge, and it's like so, a little heart. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little sponge on a rope. Yeah, it looks like a dog toy. Uh, I mean, people say those are disgusting because you should. Uh, if you're really going to be sanitary, you should uh, like throw them out like every... Uh, like a toothbrush? Like every three, four months? No, they were saying even quicker than that. Like every three, four weeks. I got this... I don't know if I have a loofah. It's, some, it's like a little sponge thing. It, it helps me lather up. He's got the uh, SpongeBob little sponge. It's made for the kids to wash them. It has SpongeBob on it. He saw my SpongeBob towel one time. He had never let it down. And it comes with the Patrick soap. He's a hater. My Patrick soap and Patrick toothbrush be busting. <laughs> is that is that what you take to your sleepovers? Listen, we don't have sleepovers out here. We grown men. <laughs> I was talking. I was talking about uh, you with women. What do you call that? Overnight stay. I don't do that. I'm out here working and in these streets. You putting you're devoting yourself to the podcast full time. You know, devote myself to the podcast. You change your ways. Time. You know, you gave course. up the streets. Of course, of course. <laughs> Gave up the streets, you know. Oh, but the streets don't love nobody. Just like these crates don't love nobody. No, nah. you can ask your homeboy, your favorite rapper, YK Osiris, <laughs> the Goofy. Look, uh, it looks like he's doing a '90s R&B video. And you know, it really does. <laughs> if I could, <laughs> well, this how does is that sound? so dangerous? I really don't understand who came up with the bright idea to put all these crates together and say, "Let's do this." But it's monkey see, monkey do. So you know, everybody- that's the wrong way to say it. Monkey see, monkey do? Yep. How do you say it then? I don't know. Just, you got to figure it out. <laughs> there's just a better way. Whatever. I can't help you, but there's a better way. You know, it's great. I've seen old people do this. I've seen this one. You know, we're not even going to talk about that. But, you know, please, please, people. It's because of the break. money. It's like because people are putting in pots of money. They're only doing like $20. No, nah, they're like a couple hundred. Because I see where they're like. 20, 30 people will put money in a pot. Yeah, I want to see you break your back. I ain't doing it. I mean, I, I think I could do it. I mean, I skateboarded. I am I think I'm pretty good at balancing. You can't even walk a straight line. You walked into the wall last week. No, that doesn't sound like me. That sounds everything like nah, you. that doesn't sound like me. You know what else doesn't sound like you? What? You being a faithful man. That doesn't sound like you either, sir. I am a faithful man. But you know who's not faithful also along with you? No, sir. I am a faithful man. The lies. We heard about you in these streets. You be a dog. You's a dog-ass dog. What? You Who told a- you these things? 6 9 snitching again? <laughs> snitching on everybody? Nope. Yeah, because you're our friend. Who? Don't worry about it. Just know. Man, we'll you're saying some goofy stories. Mm-mm. I'm see, you know, it's all right, Gavin. We I ain't finna expose you this episode. But this is fake news, people. This is like when you turn on Fox News and you know nothing on it's real. That's what this man is. He's Fox News. (laughs) I'm not Fox News. You're Fox News. (laughs) This is real. You're changing the narrative. You're Fox News. This is speaking of changing the narrative. Will 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 Amber Rose ever change the narrative? Will they? Will she stop? I think she's stuck for life. And like, I don't know if maybe she already passed away in a past life and she's living her hell. Mm-hmm. But it seems like that's what it is. It never gets better. It only gets worse. You know, she goes from Kanye to Tyga, which is a downgrade. <laughs> she and a Tyga? She, hmm? she, was it Tyga? Oh, I'm sorry, Wiz Khalifa. Uh-huh. I get them mixed up sometimes. That's <laughs> messed up. That's bad. That. We don't all look alike. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. But uh, yeah, so Wiz Khalifa, she went from um, Kanye to Wiz Khalifa, so that was a downgrade. And then she went to Wiz Khalifa. 
to her brother or her cousin. I don't know who this is. The <laughs> she, guy that looks just like her. her. She it's it's Tiger's one of Tiger's like homeboy's best friends that she goes with. Oh, uh-huh. you know the funny part is. She's been on interview saying, like, I finally found a man in my dream. I've seen that. And then he betrayed her. Then he betrayed her. With 12 women, you get treated on by... But would you be faithful to a woman that has a forehead tat? I'm a faithful man. I'm always be faithful. Even if she has a forehead tat? Even if she has forehead fat, fat, (laughs) Forehead fat? Forehead fat. Those are the type of girls you go on for. Fupa fat. They got the the forehead fat. (laughs) (laughs) You know, we ain't gonna talk about your girls with the Adam apples. What? Exactly. Never in my life, sir. You know, you out here. You know, no. Nah, you know, we're gonna talk about one time when Jesse got lost and he sent me his location and he was on Cherry Street. Cherry Street. Yep. Your favorite street. Over on East Side. Nah, I don't be on Cherry Street. You tried me. Mm-mm. What is she saying here? Mm-mm. I don't like to conform to society's norms. But yet she's she's next. rapping. Is that bars? It's not bars because she out here faking it. She out here getting cheated on. She's supposed to accept that. <laughs> who said? Who said that she was like open to that? Listen, yeah, I don't like. She just said. She just said, don't no slut shame. Listen, yeah, you're shaming. She caught her all those women that was uh, cheating on her behind her back. And so she what? caught her. And she caught out her husband. She caught her everybody. She's shaming everybody. It's, that's how it goes. It sounds right. It sounds like slut shaming. I thought everybody deserves equal nah, love. Nah, nah, Hoes nah, need love too. But what she Hoes did. Hoes need love too. So everyone's supposed to cheat, Mister. I'm always faithful. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. I'm faithful. Episode fifteen. <laughs> no, I'm faithful. Episode. 15. <laughs> Let the record stand. <laughs> that Jesse J is faithful. On episode fifteen. Episode yeah, it's 16, gonna be like you, a girl's gonna ask you, be like. You know, I really like you, but I don't know if you're the faithful type. You're going to be like, girl, did you check my episode history? <laughs> Look at episode, episode 15. 15. I got it on film. I can't lie. Look at his face. <laughs> you look like the damn Joker. <laughs> you a hater, man. Why you always hating on me? But will Amber Rose find love? Will you find love? No. Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> but you know, we might not be able to find out because you know. Tess is out here doing that crazy stuff. Boom, boom, boom. They out here creating robots. This is how we die. Exactly. This is just like the movie. What was was it Will Smith? I Robot. Well, I Robot. You know, so supposedly what's going on is Tesla's coming out with this robot. Humanoid robot. That's going to be no taller than 5'8". So the, a little taller than our friend Jesus. <laughs> Shout out to you, Jesus. He's a faithful viewer, faithful commenter. He hates us Faithful cheerleader He hates us Because we always talk shit about him And he's like I've only been there once And I, I can't defend myself all the time Well this is what you get should've, If you should live You should live closer Should have came to the tone Yeah To his task But you know Like I was saying It weighs about 125 pounds It runs about like 5 miles an hour So you know If you want to outrun it You can outrun it But you know but you knowing Tesla and how like their electric cars are like faster than anything in like the world, like they go like zero to sixty in like two point three seconds, I believe they're gonna make a humanoid robot that can be like at least fifty miles per hour. Could you imagine that? I can imagine. Like that. You're, no, imagine like this thing is your bodyguard and you're walking and then like someone snatches your kid or a lady, someone snatches your purse and you're like Tesla bot. Get that mother effer. And then Tesla butts him. <laughs> and this fucking runs him over. See, this is why I don't trust it. And then they say it's going to be able to do household chores. So pretty soon. Cooking, not- cleaning, everything. You know, pretty- what's going to be the reason to get married? If the Tesla bot can cook, it can clean, it can wash your car, it can do the dishes. You got And the Tesla butt is going to be a one time purchase. With minimal, um, was it upkeep? True, Probably true, less true. than a car because you got to get oil changing, like gas every few days for a car. Tesla bot, you're probably not going to have to get that. And the Tesla bot won't complain <laughs> if you want to play <laughs> Xbox. So maybe the Tesla bot is the perfect mate. No. You know, they're waking, the way they're making machines overseas, it might even, it might even have a fun slot. I need my Tesla to come with a BBL. <laughs> She had a heart attack. <laughs> Sir, that's an upgrade. 
you got to pay extra for that. Nah, man, but for real, I'm getting the scared of this world, this technology in this world. The, the more and more we get, advanced we get, like, and then, but you could always do like a virus to the robot and then have them turn crazy. And then that's how, that like, it only works in the movies, Gavin. It doesn't work. They could just life. grab your wrist and, like, snap your hand immediately. Mm-mm. That would be scary. Nope. I'm glad I live in Texas. <laughs> Everybody got a gun. Going Starting down. September 1st, everyone can pack. I'm popping. So we're going to be busting these Tesla bots. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Hit him again, Will. Bow. <laughs> nah, but it's just too much. I, I just want I want the world to slow down. I want us to stop trying to be so creative and try to do all this futuristic stop stuff. Stop being that, creative. But at the same time, we can't because we're going to die off. We have to be creative. So you We've know, got a limited time on this earth, so everyone wants to make their their I'm, impact. I'm strapping up. I mean, look at you. You're wearing, you know, Mr. Cherry Blossom. This year. But you did make a dope background. I'm liking this... Uh, we're like in a 3D wave. It's like we're in a 3D, 3D ocean. You're looking real gender fluid over there, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Not on this channel. I've been waiting to say that all week. <laughs> no fluidness. You know. There's no fluids over here. You know, you ain't got no fluids. Soldier Boy ain't got no deal. What's the world coming to? Soldier Boy does have a deal. He's, he pulled out the paperwork. Soldier Boy pulled out his paperwork. I saw it was he fake. pulled it out. It was fake. You think? Well, first off, who plays Atari? Um, everyone that likes classic games. You can buy classic games on your phone. You can buy classic games for your computer. I think even on like the Xbox, you can buy old games like Tetris and uh, Grand Prix and Frogger and uh, I don't remember the rest of the old games. I'm not that old. Yeah, Snake One. Those are like from the '80s, so you know that's your time period. First off, I wasn't playing video games at this time, and I was born in '89. Eighty, you said at eighty-five. Um, I was born in ninety-one, and you're uh, a year and a half older than me. You said seven and a half, um, younger. Um, but anyways, you know, I the believe in real. Soldier Boy. I believe in Atari. If this is real, I think it's a match made in heaven. If it's Soldier Boy cloud chasing Soldier, you don't need to do that. You have the talent yourself. Just trust yourself. Don't try to six nine the game, and people will follow you. You know. We just, we've been listening to Soldier Boy for the longest, but... I know he's kind of like, people make fun of him and mm-hmm. say like this and that, but he makes some good songs from time to time. I think he's funny. I think he's just stuck in kid mode. No. He he got money when he's like 16, and he's basically been able to live like a 16-year-old for the rest of his life. It's been like summer vacation since he's been like 16. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. True. You know, once you go rich, that's the stage you're at. And he's, he's right. done better than a lot of people. I that's mean, true. he had a couple of bids in jail, but I don't think he. Uh, a couple of bids for did, a week. I don't, th- you know, I don't think he, you know, had any DUIs where he took people out like a lot of people. Um, and I don't, I don't know. He did look pretty bad for a while, but he, he's looking healthier. You know, that's oh, what dude, we didn't get the picture, man. Of what picture? The meme. Which one? This meme? <laughs> Not so that meme. Which one are you talking? About? Oh, the okay. one where he's getting <laughs> held he's for the fight. <laughs> Soldier Boy, the first the first rapper to get talked out of a fight. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard, but they trying to make everybody. I don't even know what that was. I, I mean, I didn't know if his friend was trying to hop on stage, if somebody was trying to fight him. I don't know. It was, what was like, going hey, on. soldier, come here. And he grabbed, he yelled, him. "Don't do this." It was like, "Look, it was like this." No, <laughs> sir, unhand me. We have rights in this country. <laughs> you don't have rights. That was a uh, non consensual. <laughs> oh, so- all right, gonna have to put the Spanish fly in your drink, sir. Don't go there. I'll do real voodoo on you. Oh, really? You know, speaking of real voodoo, speaking of real boo boo, speaking of Demi do doo doo, Demi do doo doo, Demi Lovato, whatever her name is. I don't even know who this is. She's from Disney Channel, man. But in what movie? You were from the eighties. She was on Disney Channel in like the two thousands. I was born in eighty nine. Eighty five. Let's see, that's a long time before. I didn't start watching TV really, really until like 93. I can remember things from 93. I was but two I years old. I don't remember this person. And I watched the Disney Channel. Who she she said that she's going to be gender fluid like Safari. <laughs> Stop trying to Is that dog. why his picture's there? No. No, no. Did you do this, sir? No. So so basically what's going on is Demi Novato is saying, Oh, Demi, saying, uh, Demi. Shut the F up and stop reaching. <laughs> Exactly, she's retarded. She says, "Wait, hey, sir, we can't use the R word." Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's 
Special. Special. <laughs> I don't even know who that. If we, we, it's probably just as bad. Oh well, we don't know any better. Let's but, talk it up to that. So, so we're are just you, ignorant. Are you gonna identify as transgender? No, sir. I identify as me, which is sir. Which is the B word. I can't say that until 15 minutes in, but don't worry, it's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need glasses. No, are we at 15 minutes already? Oh man, we. No, you can't be throwing them like that, oh, sir. Lord, it's <laughs> just time to. Nah, you're not. You can't be doing that. You're gonna get us canceled. Nah, but for real, the fact that Demi Lovato says they one day could identify as transgender. Yeah. I don't want to one day identify as transgender. Like I'm not. Identifying I mean, you gotta be like the rest of the world. You gotta be gender fluid, man. That's retarded. You gotta be fluid, man. Y'all, y'all it's like the '70s all over again. <laughs> Sir, and did you just use the G word? In a bad way. I use the G word. Well, my co-host is just begs to be canceled every week. He Wait. just begs me to find a replacement. First off, my language is superior. I didn't say anything bad. Check. The but uh, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some uh, special things coming down the pipeline with a uh, guest guest host, not host, but guest on the host uh, with the mostest. No, yes. guest. On, we're gonna have our reaction channel that should be up by the middle of the week. We would try to have it up this week, but things got in the way. Booty calls got in the way. <laughs> now this, that's this man. Try to work, but you know. Try to you, work. You already know I was working. I could check my YouTube, my, my Facebook page. You know, working. What's on your Facebook page? When I posted at three in the morning, I, I posted that that uh, video saying working. No, you were probably uh, on some Tatiana's Wi-Fi. How was that? That doesn't mean anything. Anyone can type working. And just text it and press post. Whatever. But Demi Lovato is going to choose to be, what she said? She's going to be. Gender fluid. Uh, oh, she said that she might be identify as transgender, which I don't think makes sense because I thought that's when you're transitioning. But, um, and then she said, or she could identify as woman. So one day you're trans, one, the next day you're a woman? That, that's uh, Demi. I'm not talking about myself. I'm literally <laughs> reading from the script. Don't get it I know twisted. What you mean. So I just, as long as she hit me up, the I, scissors I, are right next I to me, sir. Well, she a woman. I don't got time for all the other stuff. I mean, didn't you have her poster on your wall? I don't even know who this Lovato. I don't know who this is. Is she a pussycat doll? You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. She's not. She's no, not. She's, not. That's just hard. she's a cheetah girl. Oh, you remember God. the cheetah girls? Yeah, I remember. You uh, like your favorite one was Raven, because it was the future that she could see. That is gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's almost. And then oh, your second favorite show, is... and your idol was uh, Corey in the house. Corey, in... which was Corey in the house? Oh, you remember the no, guy? No. Whenever I saw your like. Uh, your little kid pictures and I was like, nah, You look just that. like Corey in the house. Mm-mm. Never that. I don't like Corey in the house, just like you don't like Kanye West. Man, forget Kanye. You know you love Kanye you. could kick a bucket. <laughs> he could kick several buckets. I can't believe you don't like Kanye West. Everybody loves Kanye no, West. Not but everybody. You. Who doesn't like the West? Me. K dub. Who? Who don't like K dub? Me, because he's phony. He's not phony. He's, he's a big fat phony. He's a realist. He's a because he wants to hang with the BDs and act like he's all cool, and then he wants to switch to hanging with the GDs so he could kick several buckets. <laughs> he's flipping. He's a flip flopper. He's like John Kerry. So okay, so did you hear about this uh, this beef that's going on? That's still going on. I heard that Drake was gonna beat him like a redheaded stepchild when it came to album sales. No, I don't know. I think he's scared. This was gonna be like as bad as Tupac outselling Biggie. Oh my God, Biggie is better than Tupac. We Stop looked playing. it up. People voted with their dollar, and they told the truth. So I'm sorry you lost in that debate. Biggie's but still better. What do you want to bet on this? Because they both have albums coming up. Do you want to bet on Kanye will outsell Drake? Of course, Drake, Kanye's gonna outsell Drake. I mean, we might as well we might as well bet a, a case of Twisted Teas. My, if you're that confident, I'm little Kanye Yeezy, Kanye Yeezy, Kanye Crazy. Then bet a case of Twisted Tees. If you're not that confident, at least bet a round of Twisted Tees. I'm with it. I'm all for it. A case or or one of the tall boys. What are you betting? We can do the case. The case? 
yeah, we do the kids because I already know Kanye was from the outside. I mean, Drake gonna have them bars. Of All course. right, you heard it. You heard it here first. It's on video, episode fifteen. Take a mental picture. <laughs> what is that? It's a mental picture that like... we did this bet. <laughs> or we could. I could just rewind the video and show you. Whatever, Drake. I already know Drake's gonna have the best bars. He's already spitting out bars too, Kanye. Drake has the best room of Ghost Riders. His Ghost Riders are way better than Kanye's. <laughs> His Ghost Riders. So who goes through? Who, who goes through this one for, for Drake? Me. You did. You yeah, that's what I've been doing in my bars. free time. I got some bars. You know, I beat I've you been in the time. kitchen. I've been in the kitchen cooking. I'm cooking in the kitchen. But you're not even right-handed. You left-handed. I am right-handed, fool. <laughs> All these fools I'm beefing that I barely know. Like you, 45, 44, burned out, let it go. <laughs> Ain't changing shit for me. It's set in stone. Bars. Why you just, so you just mix me into the Because you were like 44, you're 45. You got to know your place in this game. I'm 32. I'm 36. <laughs> Sounding like LeBron. You would never let this. I'm going to just show my ID on this, on this thing one day. So that way you can steal your identity? I'm gonna cover it up. I just, I just need to see my ear. It's fake, people. He like just like he got the fake vaccine shot. I'm not. He got that a fake ID. Shot. I'm not getting. That He's not even a citizen. I am a citizen. He's from the Congo. I'm about to Congo you. <laughs> Watch, keep playing. I'm about to Congo you in the head. <laughs> um, but speaking of this fake news, do you think? Um, do you think this beef is real, or you think it's? Funny? Oh, it's definitely real. Did you see this? Because they said uh, Virgil got Drake the uh, green. What does that mean? A green watch? It means nothing. It was a special gift. What Kanye it? wasn't that special. So he got his feelings hurt. Oh, wow. Kanye felt like, why didn't I get the special limited edition 101 watch? I thought, I influenced a generation. And then the guy was like, no. Virgil was like, no, you only influence yourself. You're a narcissist. Yep, basically. So he's mad about that. And then he posts a Joker picture and he goes, I live for this. I've been... Effed with by nerd ass jock N words like you my whole life. You will never recover, I promise you. Hold on, it says the N word in that and you said you actually muted yourself when you <laughs> I never say <laughs> Was I supposed to just skip it? Or do you prefer me to say Nope, you about to catch a holy beat down on episode fifteen. <laughs> no, not say it. No, do you prefer me just to skip the word or say N word? You can do it. Hey. Or we could just have you read it and make it that much easier. I can't see it. I finally got my glasses on. Oh yeah. With your decrepit nineteen eighty five eyes. Maybe episode seventeen I can see, but episode fifteen. Maybe I'm if faithful. people like, comment, subscribe. Please. You can reach the GoFundMe for my co host to get some new eyes. You know. He is falling apart day by day. He broke his arm when we were playing basketball. He broke his eyes when he was trying to drive. Who knows what's going to go out next? I don't know. But we, should, we might as well just list your cash app on here so other people can donate. Oh, please, please donate now or you can donate on my birthday. I want to feel special like Thugga Thugga. Thugga Thugga. You know, out here getting these racks, racks, and bands. I need friends like him, but I got Gavin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not a millionaire. The most I get from Gavin is a twisted tea. Hey, maybe a Red Bull from time to time. I do what I can. Occasional time to time. But then I realized that I ended up paying for the Red Bull because Gavin found money that I left on the table. <laughs> and then bought Red Bull with my money. Hey, yeah. hey guys. It's on me tonight. <laughs> Jesse gets on. Where's my money? I meant it's on you tonight. That's messed up. No, I'm, I don't do that. You thought you had friends. Are you jealous of Young Thug too? Are you jealous of his friends? Um, you need rich friends? I'm not really jealous of Young Thug. I'm jealous of Young Thug's friends. Because I wouldn't want to be the famous person. I would want to be the famous person's friend. Because that way you could still have a normal life. No one's looking to murk you. And you're still balling like that. And you still have access to basically everywhere they get to go. So you need to go ahead and get famous. So I can be lazy. Let's do it, people. Let's make Jesse famous. Yep, and then I make Gavin famous, and he gonna buy me a pink car. No, nah. gonna match with my cherry blossom shirt. <laughs> you would want a pink car for your cherry blossom shirt. Okay. That's that was his nickname in the streets on Grinder. That is first. Of, I don't got Grinder anymore. Stop playing with anymore. <laughs> you just got yourself. You just got yourself. <laughs> just got yourself. I didn't have to say anything. 
court of it. But like I was saying, man, Young Thug out here getting the best of the best. He getting the Gunna car. got the car, right? Yep. You know what? Baby got a Marine. 21 Savage got a Marine. Then he had another friend that bought him 100 acres. And a mule. And a mule. <laughs> it's this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I set you up for that. Do you remember whenever they got Charles Barkley on TNT? Saying what? He was reading all the stuff, and then he was like, and I'm Charles Barkley, and I'm a dumbass. And he read it. <laughs> and then he was like, oh. <laughs> it happens, Charles. It happens. It doesn't happen. It only happens to... We need a teleprompter. That'd be cool. You know, make some more money, get a teleprompter, you know, get a, but get we a need... pretty young thing in the back, you know, doing the computer work. We know that sometimes our opinions are crazy. So we want you to actually comment on the video and let us know what you think. If you think that like we're super wrong, tell us. If you think we're super right? I'm always right. Tell us. I'm always right. I ain't never wrong. Because there's like uh, we have a few people that are commenting every uh, video. So it's a uh, shout out to those people. I forget their names. So I'd have to look it up. But there's like a you know two three people that are commenting on a bunch of the videos. We need all y'all to comment. We need to get those comments up so we can get that feedback. Please, 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 you know, give us that feedback because we don't want to end up like these crazy people jumping off the of roller coasters. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at him. The dummy. Goofy of the week. I mean, R. I. hardcore Pito. parkour, right? R.I.P. R. though. R.I.P. Oh, yeah. He fell. <laughs> so, so Was that the Sammy Sosa? I thought that's what y'all do when y'all say, forgive me, God. I don't know. I seen it in the movie. <laughs> But I don't know what this guy was doing. I mean, because usually the people that do, like, the uh, parkour stuff or, like, the ninja warrior stuff, they look super in shape. They look like they're, like, ninjas or Power Ranger type of shape. This guy looks like a soccer dad. I don't know. It looks like he has a gut. He's wearing, like, Jinkos. I don't know what shoes those are. I think this dude was just maybe offing himself and no staged it as a failed parkour. Yes, so basically, what's going on? And what is what is this called again? Is it a sky rail? It's called. Uh, it's like a, a trolley. Oh, sky! It's a sky ride in Utah. So basically, what's going on? So it was. It, he was Mormon. He was a Mormon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He was a Mormon. So what? I don't. I mean, he might have been. It's in Utah. True. 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 So basically, what's going on in Utah is this man decided to get on a sky ride. And he decided, let me climb up and just hang off. And I don't know what his plan was. I don't know if he just wanted to Look how high he is, down. man. That's like five stories, right? Like four or five, you'd say? I don't know. I mean, It's kind of hard from that angle. We saw the video, but it, it looked like it was it, more than three stories, at least. More than three. He didn't like it. It's just, Ooh, sorry. It's just tragic. <laughs> almost just uppercutted the mic trying to itch my head. Like I almost uh, took yourself out of the game. Yep. Trying to get a new co-host. And then maybe he can buy me he can buy me some food and then I don't have to worry about paying for everything. I got you. You know what I'm gonna get you? What? Some little C's. <laughs> Pizza time. That is disgusting. Mother Trucker. That is the nastiest thing in the world. We can get holy no nah, <laughs> and eat pizza. Religious. What is that? So is that? It's a cross. It's a religious pizza. It looks like a pizza it's with two kosher. Hot, it's a pizza with four hot pockets on the side. It's 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 like a calzone. But with like a baby pizza in the middle, it's like four cows. It's like you know, like how an embryo split, uh, splits mm -hmm. when it, it, like they make twins. It looks like it's an embryo splitting of a pizza, <laughs> but then it got like messed up. So then that's what you ended up with. This is like a whole load of BS. This is like a Jack in the Box meal. That this looks like a Jack. Yeah, it looks like the, what do they call them? The Munchie Meals? The Munchie Meals, like the, the burger with the nacho cheese Don't on Don't get it, those people. you would be on the toilet. Trust me. You'll be, on, you'll be like, oh, I need a quick, cheap bite. You'll be on the toilet for a long night. And, oh, I don't even think Can you even put this in You can't even put this in a pizza box, number one Because I've seen people have they got, this Do they have cross pizza boxes? No, they don't I mean They might hmm? Nah, it's Little Caesars I wonder if this is going to be $5 This better not be more than $5 I know that Oh, uh, I don't know what it is It's disgusting but, you know, we'll try it. Tell some crib we'll try it. Maybe we'll put it on a reaction channel. Maybe we'll do it. Oh, yeah. Thing. That would be good for the reaction. We'll react to <laughs> the pizza, pizza cross. 
No. Is is that like if you perform an exorcism with that? Is it like you can perform the exorcism and then feed everyone afterwards? Yep, and then everybody's gonna thank you, and then everybody's gonna kiss you in the mouth. <laughs> like brother, man. This is something that Jesse J, my co host, used to do. He moved here from Florida, and then you would tell your homeboy later, I'm like, all right, you go to tap him up, and this man goes in, and you gotta be like, hey, pause. <laughs> No, we don't, do, we don't that. do that here in Texas. We don't do that. First off, we don't do that in Florida. That's, that's a Florida a, thing. That's in New Orleans thing. These guys are from New Orleans. I don't do any they of that. They moved to Florida, and then that now they claim Florida. So it's basically a Florida thing. Middle finger. They taught it to uh, Ricky Rose. <laughs> Ricky, Ro- Rick Ross Ricky Ross. Ricky Ross. Rick Ross taught him how to speak English. <laughs> what? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I thought they, they taught uh, Rose how to uh, do the French kiss no. when they say goodbye. No, never that. But the fact that this is still going on, this has been going on since like 98, 90, 98, yeah, 98. I mean, they different different times, but. They keep um, bringing it back up. Nobody cares. They did this and it was over with. They not even. I mean, I guess it's like if you look at him as like a father figure, but like, I don't even think little kids kiss their dad on the mouth after like five. Like. By the time you hit pre-K or elementary, you're done with that stuff. You're like, Daddy, you bust, you creeping me out, Daddy. Nah. Nope, you got to say, if you're not, a, you're not a real nigga, you won't understand. <laughs> That's what Turk said. <laughs> so I guess you don't At least we're 36 minutes in. <laughs> oh, we'll True let that, that one slide. I the N-word. No, I, no, don't be dropping no, no N-bombs. This is gonna, I'm going to have to drop like clues bombs. <laughs> but, um... Wait, what are we, uh, I mean, I guess it is what it is. If that's what you do, I don't agree with it, but it doesn't bother me. It's not my life, so do what you do in your life. No, I don't care what y'all do out there. Just don't put me in it. As long as you don't do it to me. Yep. No no smoochie-boochies out here. (laughs) No smoochie-boochies. No, none of that. You know, so. You don't kiss these women on the mouth. And you're trying to kiss a man on the mouth. You don't know where his mouth's been. Yep, you don't know where his mouth been. You it could have been on some stink homie hopper that's been around the way. You know, some people out here be eating the butt and trying to smoke the blunts with you. Mm-mm. No booty blunts over here. No booty blunts. <laughs> you sound like you've lived through that horror, sir. You've lived through that nightmare. No, but only nightmare I'm living through. Some, to... Someone got a booty crumb on the blunt? Never that. But only nightmare I'm trying to live through right now is living through this nightmare. Of 24k golden. <laughs> you sk- you skipped the face. Go yeah. back. I want to see it. He said, "What?" <laughs> Man, shout out Ice Cube. He's doing the big three. He's making money. He's looking at my co-host crazy because he thinks it's okay for Florida people to kiss each other on the mouth. Next slide. Nope. <laughs> I basically recapped what you just said. He's right? looking at you crazy because you are here smoking booty blunts. <laughs> How about that? No. You, you can't. This guy has terrible jokes. He just says what I say, just like with like with a thirty second delay. I'm gonna get him a, a comedy book. We'll fi- I'll fix my co-host. He'll be better next week. I'm gonna fix you like I'm gonna fix twenty four K Golden. He out here capping twenty four Golden. You paying a hundred, hundred and seventy five K for a feature. You paying that? No, I would pay five hundred to uppercut him. <laughs> I, don't even, you don't even, I know one song he made. That was all right. It was I, like a I only know, mom song. I only know him from um, the this, Revolt basketball game where he was like a guest uh, person on the mic. For I like didn't one episode. Yeah, that's the only thing I know him from. I don't think he played. No, he was on the mic. He was. Uh, he was. He was trash. Uh, like a correspondent. So how, it's like I need to be a rapper. If you out here making one hundred and seventy five k, I got bars. I can at least make. You look. K. You already got tattoos. Mm-hmm. All I need is dreads, and I'd be in that thing. You had longer hair, but then you cut it like a like a punk. It was before we it was before we got video. My co-host and I were growing out our hair, as you can see. Is this the right side? My hair's gotten pretty long. My co-host had pretty close long hair, but then he shaved it all off that because he lost in two K like Carmelo. Oh, you must have jumped to the next slide. Speaking of Melo. What's up with your guy? Oh my God! Yeah, I'm yeah, praying man. for him. I'm hoping that his teammate, uh, PJ, tells him like, "Dude, Brittany just got me, and team. now her best friend is hollering at you." I mean, it's not her friend. I don't even know if they know each other, but it's another thirty-something plus year old model 
trying to get hollering these damn kids. At, at a teenager that's oh, just made it into the NBA. She take my money. When I'm in need. <laughs> You're gonna give us a copyright strike. I sung it. <laughs> oh, she's a gold digger. But yeah, it's crazy. Like she wants to get on that Puma jet. He just got a hundred mil in a Puma jet. She wants to she, ride that Puma jet. She, wanna ride she wants to ride the lion. That's horrible. But you know, what I mean, I want to, I want to give my props to the young man. He out here winning, thirty two years old. That's that's a, and she got Hannah Montana. I don't even know who that is. It's like Hannah Montana's sister. No, that's an Anna Montana sister. Melo loves it though. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I team. like big butts and I cannot lie. Look at him. That's how he's running through all these women. It's just too much, but it's messed up how. That's what he was dreaming about when he was younger. He's like, ooh, I'm going to get this check. Then I'm going to get these women. Mm-mm-mm. One, two, three, four. Look at that. And they talk about us. They talk about all the men be going after these young girls because we're trying to control them. But look at this. All y'all going after these young boys to take their money. Trying to take trying to take young kings out the game. I That's sad. I thought y'all was independent. What's going on with that? I need to be a manager of some of these players so I could hit these girls away with a stick. You know. Be gone. <laughs> either, yeah. Either you finna have to start coaching these girls, either Quavo finna have to start coaching these girls, or the new player to the roster, our dog, Mr. A Rod. A Rod. Alex Rodgers. Shout out, shout out, City Boys up. Another point. You no, know, we up a thousand. I no. think we're, we're, City Boys is balling this summer. Of course. It's been a City Boys summer, just like our uh, our uh, original video podcast. Go check that out. It said uh, Hot Boy Summer 2021. You know, and let me tell you the story about this. So usually when I'm doing this, doing these slides, I have to search through pictures. And like, I have to do a ton, a ton of searching to find these pictures. But now with the A-Rod picture, I found his picture in two seconds. All I did was went on his Instagram page. It was so right there. Right there. He didn't give no no shame. He don't care. He know he repoed this car from J-Lo. He don't care. He pulled a Quavo. You know. He said, no sweetie meal for you, darling. You know, a little bit of straightening. No sweet and sour sauce tonight. <laughs> you know it's all right. You know I like it. I love it, you know. You I'm, want I'm some more of it. Game. You try so hard. Oh, oh really? sorry. That was a country song. Do, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> told you. Hey, look. He's gra- he's grabbing another star player. He's like, we're about to get these women tonight. You know, he done moved on already. He said the train is in motion. Choo, choo. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised. If, They're like, we're getting like the Victoria's Secret models all on a uh, a boat. And we're going away with them this weekend. Just just me and you, Jeter. That's hard, but that's nasty. But you know. Man, that's crazy. Look, he picked him up. <laughs> he gave him a wedgie by the cheeks. <laughs> that's a cheek wedgie. I've never seen that done before. You know, you know this he might have bruised him. He might have he might have took, took off a piece of meat. That's nasty. <laughs> he's got some barbacoa sandwiches. You know, he's probably been working out. He's been Playing these video games. Oh, my word, God. Because word in the street that man self is saying studies find gamers burn as many calories in two hours, two hour session playing video games. I wish this was true. I was playing a bunch of 2K. <laughs> I was not looking like LeBron. I was looking like uh, Fat Albert. Antoine Walker. <laughs> Ooh, after the game. <laughs> Five years after the league. Me and my co-host had to get in the gym and get in the cardio. We had to stop the game. This used to be Gavin at the top. No, I was never that bad. I have all my hair. (laughs) That's the only thing, thing, but everything else is accurate. It's all right. We're going to save you. No, but I don't know how they got this. It doesn't make sense. Because it's like you see people that pay five hours of video games a day, and they ain't in shape. Do nope. they have? Are they just like out of shape everywhere else? But they got abs of, of steel. It's they, they got them quick fingers. That's how they do it. That's all they really got. It's the quick fingers. <laughs> hey girl, I got, the, I got the quickest fingers in the city. Pow. That's nasty. Pow. pow. That's disgusting. Bye. <laughs> but you know, this tells from the Creel Podcast. We're moving on to our favorite, favorite part of this, the, the episode. Do do do. Uh, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Look at Homer. Sports. Boom, 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 playing soccer. We know we love it. You know what's the hardest part about soccer? What? No, I'm not going to say that joke. It's bad. But you know why, you know why they made soccer, right? Why? It's uh, basically for all the kids that couldn't play football. Nice save. I'll give you that one. 
But you know who? Like, you're go- just upset because you were the soccer kid. He was a goalie. First off, he used to take balls to the face. Pause. I ain't never take balls to the face. Speaking Pause. Of, speaking of who's gonna be taking balls to the face for this whole week? <laughs> Shikari. <laughs> Looking at you, man. Jordan looking at you. She said, "Girl, you know, look so, at that nice place finish." And you know, and there's only nine of them, so she so finished every, last. So everybody knows about this lovely, lovely black lady. You know, she was disqualified from. The she Olympics was kicking Spoken butt League. in the trials. Everyone was rooting for her because she had the good-looking outfit. She had the crazy hair and she had the attitude. But then she failed mm-hmm. the weed test. So she couldn't compete in the Olympics, so she got dropped. And then this is the first competition since the Olympics, and it a has later. it has the uh, three girls from where Jamaica, which is actually funny because was it Jamaica? Yep, it was Jamaica. Oh okay. yeah, because that's academics. <laughs> academics love to loves to support his people. Yes, and then one of the girls was the world's fastest woman already. She was in Jamaica. She's the world's fastest woman, and then she had three or four of her teammates. They was all they was also fast. So it was an outnumbered race. She was going to lose regardless. These girls were talking Boy, about it. She got smoked, dude. They've been tra- They showed the picture where, like, it's like the picture whenever the first girl, like, passes the line and they, like, take a picture. <laughs> that girl was, like, was five, five steps was, behind the she last was like person, the eighth place person. She was five steps behind. It was hard. So it I'll, looks like when I'm playing you on the court and I just get that quick step. Yeah, ah. that. So I just want to know how come when – Women enter into talk, start talking about sports. They want to girl it all up. It's never, it's not winning or losing. It's about they gave it up. They're all. That's all that counts. I mean, that's, that's what they sports. said for you when you play sports. First off, I was out here winning, getting hit buckets. Kobe. <laughs> Everyone could tell by that form that you were not Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Richard Jefferson. Katino Mobley. <laughs> nah, Katino was actually nice. Um, no, you shot Tony Allen, <laughs> Tony. Joe Keem Noah. <laughs> All these back. Listen, man, if I was in 2K, my record would be 99 because I'm out here to go. Oh, man, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, go ahead and subscribe. Look right there, it's flashing, you know, it's in your please. face. Subscribe, it's right there. Okay, back from that commercial. <laughs> um, it looks like that we have the top 10 uh, 2K ratings Are you overall. About this? LeBron James number one. 90, I'm surprised that there's no higher ratings. Like it's been a few years since they've had a 98, since they've had a 99. Um, I think LeBron should be number one. LeBron should be a. Number I actually one. think he should be a 95. I think KD. Really, Steph is better than him. KD no, better. I would put Steph at like a 92. Would you put? Would you give him KD? I'd give KD a 90, Nine. 90, 99. 99 if he's healthy, but he misses too many games, 90, 94. You think so? Because I factor in everything. Okay, okay, okay. Kawhi Leonard, I would actually drop Kawhi to a 92 because he misses way too many games. Jokic? Jokic. He's- just because he's such a liability on defense and so slow, I would drop him to a 93. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luca hundred. James Harden. Um, Luka, no, <laughs> just because he Luka plays with Przingis, no. I give Luca all the support in the world, and just because I told Jesse that he was going to be a monster before he got drafted, and Trash. everything I said has been true. Um, I mean, but he does miss his free throws. He's gotten better at that, and his three pointers started out bad, but they got better. I mean, I think he's pretty good at a ninety four, ninety four, ninety five. I think is fair. Nah. James yeah, Harden he injured too him. much, 92. He can't. If you talk about fat James Harden, the in shape James Harden. I just think from what I saw from him last year, uh, with him being injured too much, now your rating gets updated throughout the season. So True. if you have a baller couple weeks, you could drop, I mean, go up five points, two points, yeah, depending on how much you're balling. Yeah, but man. as far as like starting off the year, like a starting point for these players. Uh huh. I would have like James at a ninety two. I would have Dame Lillard at a ninety. Dame Lillard, what? Because he's what? a liability on defense. He's not like he played. Listen, here. he's a liability, dude. But he's great. In, he's great at shooting. Yeah, Even I mean he's a killer to, shooter, but he's he don't play no D, just like Curry. 
They tried him. Yeah, Steph Curry, number one shooter. You know? 99. I would have gave him a 98. is a little unfair. Steph Curry's amazing. He is amazing, he but... Triple team shot. 99 is dang near 100, man. He's making half-court threes. You bet got to give it to him. And I would say basis. 98 just to make it fair. Okay, well... Uh, Clay Thompson, 95. Just okay. because Clay hasn't played for two years, I would give him a 92 about- until he proves himself. Step, doing step. Joe Harris, I think, is low. He was actually shot one of the best percentages. He, one good he should year. be a 95 on three pointers. But he only had one good. It's only one good year. But it's off your last year. Yeah. This, that's what I'm saying. It's off your past year. That's what this rating is. The YJ, what, what's up with Jason Tatum there? Seth Curry, I think 92. 92. Jason Tatum, Duncan Robinson 75. At 90? Um, hmm? Duncan Robinson at 90? That's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say 90. I would say Seth is a 92. I think he's better than that. He's killed it from three last year. What, the Duncan bar, you think that's right? Um, I think they're all pretty good. I like all of these players, so I don't hate on any of them. Zion's the truth. He's like a new age Charles Barkley. You got um, Zach Levine, who is pretty much right next to Aaron Gordon as one of the best dunkers uh, of all time. Um, Derek Jones Jr. had that one dunk last year where he launched and he like threw it through the hoop, almost like that Blake Griffin dunk. That was amazing. Uh, John Morant put his uh, levels in um, everybody's face. Yeah, in pretty much everybody's face, especially um, Kevin Love. So two <laughs> thumbs up for John Morant. Morant. Um, if you're um, too weak where you want to cry about mental health every day, we don't support you on Tales from the Crib. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, but I mean, speak, this, this 2K gave me hype, man. You know, I can't, I can't We wait. love mental health. It's I can't a joke. wait. This NBA season starting up, you know. Regular season I'm excited. Season finally came out. I can't wait. You know, they are talking about first game. First game is going to be October 19th. You know, uh, Nets Bucks. You think, oh, and then Lakers Warriors. That's going to be a good one. Fire. Uh, I think Clay's coming back that first game. No, they said Christmas. Dang, that far back? They said they're going to take it super slow with him. So if he progresses quicker, he could be back like maybe early December. But they're just tentatively saying um, Christmas Day is the time frame for Clay Thompson. So I think it'll be a big game no matter what because, you know, anything could happen in one game and Curry could go off. And they got a bunch of nice pieces. They're not a terrible team without Clay. So it'll be still be fun. Uh, I think Brooklyn will beat the brakes off of Milwaukee. Brooklyn, nah, nah. Milwaukee's gonna Milwaukee's gonna win. But Brooklyn almost beat them without Kyrie and without James Harden, with KD and Joe Harris and a bunch of other randoms. True. And then okay, what about Knicks? Knicks Celtics. Uh, God. Knicks. I hate the Celtics so much. <laughs> I hope they lose every game of the season. I hope Jason Tatum's rating drops to a seventy-five. Oh, I hope Jalen Brown um, shoots 5% from three points this year. Why and do you hate the Boston I hope, so much? I hope that he gets a bad haircut. Um, just I hate any Boston team, the Boston Bruins, the New England Patriots. Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox. They all could get a giant middle finger. And if you're a Boston fan, don't watch us. We big, don't want your views. Big Boston Beans. Boston Beans. Boston... Clam Chowder. Boston. Baskin Robbins. All five thumbs down. Boston accents. Mark Wahlberg. Y'all can all suck a fat one. That's what I think about Boston. Oh, man. Okay, what what you think about Mavs in uh, Atlanta? We didn't talk about Denver. Well, nobody cares about Denver. Denver's going to beat the brakes off of Phoenix. Phoenix will never be back in the conference finals. For the rest of Chris Paul or Devin Booker's career, That's they're idea. trash. Um, next, next, <laughs> next game. Um, I think it'll be very, talk about him because they didn't sign Amari Stoudemire at the end of his career to let him play a few more years with Steve Nash. They didn't want to pay him. That's the only reason he went to New York. So for that, Phoenix forever. Two middle fingers for you as well. <laughs> the hate. Um, and Chris Paul, you're just ugly, and you look funny. Purchase. Your head shaped weird. And we hate State Farm commercials. State Farm stinks. Um, <laughs> for the next game, we got um, Dallas versus Atlanta. Of course, I think Luka is going to kill them. Um, I like Trey Young, so I, 
I hope Trey Young has a good game, but I want them to lose. <laughs> you just, you're a mad fan. Of course you're going to say that. But I don't. I like the Hawks. I like. I really enjoyed watching them in the playoffs. I like John Collins, that young power forward undersized center. He's really good. Um, who else was on Atlanta that – there's other people. Capella. I'm just Capella, still showing out, showing Reddish. that it wasn't all uh, James Harden. Cam Reddish didn't Cam. play too much. He was injured. Did Kelly Oubre just go there? No, he went somewhere else. Mm-hmm. He went to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they're entertaining. I would say Vince Carter. He was there. He was there. But he retired. He was like forty. Shoot. Then, you know, of course, when you want to keep going down. Clippers you know, versus Golden State. Clippers going to win that one. I, yeah, and I hope Paul George um, Mr. Clutch. shoots one for 15 from the three-point. <laughs> the hate is real. It's we pandemic like P. We don't like you. Um, you got Nets, Sixers. I hope they get rid of Ben Simmons. I hope they both lose. How you ben both Simmons lose? is a bum. How you Joel Embiid is a pansy. He's not aggressive enough. And... Lakers. Seth Curry is cool. Then you got Lakers, Phoenix. Lakers are going to beat him by 40. Carmelo Anthony, the guy I named my dog after, Melo. Shout out, Melo, if you're watching. Um, He's going to have 30 points that game. <laughs> right. I need to get my dog named Melo a Lakers Melo dog jersey. That would be fire. And then I could also get a Melo Charlotte Hornets jersey, and I could interchange them. All right, then we got the classic matchups, of course. You know, November 1st, December 14th, December 17th. Oh, this is in December. December um, January. Nobody cares. How's it? No, that w- we just went over the opening games. Those are the classic games. So those are with the old teams. We could honestly just skip that because that's just another little whatever. This is the real deal. This real is the real deal. This is where you. Lakers Nets. I'm ready for that one. The big one. On Ho 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 Day. Oh, then you got uh, Mavericks Jazz. Oh yeah, they. Uh, that's how I'm gonna end my Christmas, nice. watching Dallas and Jazz, the game of the night that will probably go to like midnight. Um, so you want to start with the noon game, Knicks Atlanta. We'll take Atlanta. Of course. Trey Young's already showed how easily he can destroy the Knicks. Boston versus Milwaukee. Yeah, um, Boston. Boston. I think always wins. I'll take Milwaukee. Nah, Tatum. And I think Giannis is gonna dunk on Tatum. No. And Jalen Brown five times each. <laughs> Um, and Drew Holiday is going to steal the ball off of Tatum like another seven times, and Jason Tatum is going to finish the finish the game with a negative thirty plus minus. The lies. Um, then we have Golden State and Phoenix. That's the game set. That's the game. Clay's I hate back. both of them. I wish there was a way they could both lose. Clay's back on that game. You know, that's the only thing I dislike. Is like people used to call me the East Side Clay Thompson because I was from the East Side and I hit threes. Can't even shoot. I'm a marksman. Hall of Fame corner threes, um, but I don't really like either teams. I hope they both lose. Lakers. I hope LeBron dunks on KD and calls him a cupcake, and then Luca can dunk all over Donovan Mitchell because his shoes are ugly. <laughs> so that's what I think about those. Do you have any comments on the the Lakers or the other games? You no, know, of course you already you already said everything. You know, of course. The Lakers going to wax that ass. Lakers going all the way to the championship. Ain't nobody stopping them. Not even the Mavericks. I hope they play in the Western Conference Finals. That would be fun. And maybe Luka could beat them. Put your hands up for sports. But, you know, you know, ending the sports topic, I want to let y'all know this is the end, the last weekend of no college football. Next weekend, college football starts back. So, you know, you know, I'm a, me and myself, I'm a Miami Hurricanes fan, so you want to buy me any Hurricanes gear. See anything Hurricanes related, please drop it in my inbox. DM I go me. for the West Virginia Mountaineers. Don't go Mountaineers, me. baby. You'll never watch college football. No, but I, I go for that school. You know, you know and um, you know, but this is a great episode. I love Tells from the Crib. I love my fifty eight minutes. This is one of our longer episodes. You know, we in this thing, you know, when we We had a lot of that. topics. It was a busy week, people. You know. But, you know, like always, I need you to like, comment, subscribe our episode. I need you to follow us on Instagram, Tales from the Crib. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitch from Tales from the Crib. You know, also, please. Comment. Comment, like, subscribe, subscribe. Send to your mother. Subscribe. Subscribe. Or we're coming to your mother's house. (laughs) And we're tickling her feet. Yeah. You know, you're going to be wondering, why is my mom not answering her phone? 
Let me go drive over and check on her. And boom, you're going to open the door. It's going to be us saying we told you so. <laughs> so you know, We're coming through live. Coming through live, guns blazing. We ain't playing no games. But like I was saying, it tells That looks like what happened when the U.S. pulled out. <laughs> the day the U.S. pulled out, just carnage. Everybody. <laughs> Women, children, cats, dogs, lizards, iguanas. Everyone's going ham. Yeah. But um, that's pretty much it, man. Go ahead and uh, uh, we're going to go out for the end of the show. I'm looking at my co-host trying to get this thing stopped. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, technical difficulties. Sorry. It's your fault. No, nah, no. Nah. To the right, to the right. I was right there. But we hope you all have a great week. Go ahead and comment on the video below. Uh, let us know what you want to see, and we'll have some more content coming down the pipeline in a minute. Go ahead and click it because you're going to have to click it again. You know how to let us because we out. Send it to you.